it's Friday and I'm back again to dish you the most leading news of the week. So welcome back to our October Weekly Market Insight series, which is coming directly from our Capital Markets Trading Desk at SunWest Mortgage Company. This week's theme is U.S. markets shine green, Fed officials under blackout ahead of November 1st meet, UK welcomes new leader. Along with the inflation that's still ripping through the economy and a hit from dollar headwinds, the latest reports did show some weakening in the demand and a gloomy sentiment. The good news here is that Fed tightening is proven to be working, and this realization is boosting the equities. U.S. stocks have been buoyed in recent days by mostly solid earnings and speculation that the Federal Reserve may curb the pace of rate increases amid evidence that its aggressive tightening is starting to weigh on the economy. About a quarter of S&P 500 companies have reported third quarter results, with more than two-thirds beating analyst estimates despite the big tech setback. But concern is mounting that slowing output due to Fed's pivot will dent corporate profits in coming months. Federal Reserve officials will meet for their November 1st and 2nd policy meeting and likely deliver another supersized hike. Fed officials have entered a blackout period ahead of the meeting. Investors are also starting to speculate that the central bank may be approaching the end of its aggressive tightening campaign. So let's see what else is underneath the surface, shall we? All right, well, with winter approaching and the war in Ukraine dragging on, gas and electricity prices continue to remain volatile. Oil paired an earlier drop as sharp decline in the dollar made commodities priced in the currency more attractive. West Texas Intermediate traded near $86 amid prospects of a slowdown in global growth as central banks hike interest rates to combat inflation and OPEC output cuts. However, the gauge of the dollar declined almost to its lowest level in three weeks. Meanwhile, the Bitcoin is back on track to respect a history of climbing in October. Bitcoin climbed to trade around 20,700. The U.S. merchandise trade deficit widened 5.70% to $92.2 billion last month for the first time in six months as imports grew and some exports plunged. However, prices for U.S. imports rose 6% from September 2021 to September 2022, the smallest 12-month advance since the index rose 3% for the year ending in February 2021. So now let's shift our focus from the U.S. to around the globe and see what's happening there. China persists with a zero-tolerance approach to the virus even after three years since the first case emerged in the city. It has again locked down one of its central districts in Wuhan after more COVID cases were found. Rishi Sunak, the finance minister in Boris Johnson's administration, formally became prime minister of the United Kingdom at a meeting with King Charles III on Tuesday morning. After that, he delivered his first speech in which he vowed to fix the mistakes made by his predecessor, Liz Truss, in her brief administration. Inflation is now at a four-decade high and consumers do feel less wealthy. U.S. consumer confidence fell more than expected to a three-month low in October, with the conference board index slipping to 102.5 from 107.8. Same goes for the U.S. housing market, which saw a sudden reversal, effectively snapping demand and pushing prices lower since 2009. So let's check out how the housing market is doing. NBA's index of applications to purchase a home slumped 2.3% to the weakest reading since early 2015, while the gauge of refinancing did not change much. Home price growth in the U.S. slowed the most on record as product of doubling of borrowing costs. A national measure of prices increased 13% in August from a year earlier, down from 15.6% in July. That's the biggest deceleration in the index's history. So is this a sign that the Fed's aggressive rate hikes are starting to crimp demand as needed to tame inflation? Perhaps a bit too soon to say. (laughs) In any case, in this crazy world where bad news is good news, equity markets viewed the data as another sign the Fed would slow its roll after a 75 basis point hike in November. And still, the officials would need evidence of a much more significant slowdown before they start to walk back from their aggressive push to get a handle on sky-high inflation. So that's all we have for today, guys. Stay connected with me every week right here, and I will get you those answers. Buffy is on the job. Don't you worry. If you like the video, please hit that like button and tap that notification bell to be alerted each time we upload another exciting video.
<laughs> All right, till next time. And as usual, stay updated with our news and our trading desk will keep you informed with pricing incentives. Have a great weekend, everybody. Buffy out.